the company installed another leader who had almost no experience leading whatsoever. But I think he could have been a better leader if it weren't necessarily for the employees around him. Uh, racism was definitely a factor. The guy was from another country. The guys who were I was working with at the time, I would say two of them were, and I can't say for sure it was racism, right? You don't know what's in somebody's head. But you notice how quickly they react different to certain people versus others. And it was either a mix of the kind of crazy stuff that they could get away with because the previous boss let them get away with it was gone away, and so they were just annoyed, or it was definitely the fact that he was a farmer. And to me, with how quickly the shift change was, without waiting to find out how he was going to run the thing, I feel it had to be more of the latter. As such, they complained to their bosses daily about how much they don't like him. Sometimes to the point where uh, they were in the middle of something and they started complaining to customers about him. Like, that's just not okay. It seriously hindered his ability to be able to lead the group when two of the most senior members were very non-committal to allowing him to lead and very unwilling to show even just human decency towards him at times. So I think that became very sick and problematic. And in the end, the leadership back up here decided that our new manager down in the South was not worth having a leadership role. So they demoted him out of the leadership position and just made him a sales guy. But he was on a green card and they were paying for him to move here. So he didn't argue or anything. He kind of just stepped out and just, it is what it is at this point.